Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the static analysis tools in software testing environment. The static analysis tools are designed to detect defects in the source code of a program. The name itself says that the principle of their working is based on static code analysis. The various activities for performing static testing are use case requirement validation, functional requirement validation, architecture review, prototype screen mockup validation, and field dictionary validation. In the use case requirement validation, it validates that all the end user actions are identified as well as any input and output associated with them. The more detailed and thorough the use cases are, the more accurate and comprehensive the test cases can be. In the functional requirement validation, it ensures that the functional requirement identify all necessary elements. It also look at the database functionality, interface listing and hardware, software and network requirements. In the architectural review, all business level process like server location, network diagram, protocol definition, load balancing, database accessibility, test documents, etc. are evaluated. In the prototype or screen mockup validation, the stage includes validation of requirements and the use cases. The field dictionary validation phase validates every field in the user interface is defined well enough to create field level validation test cases. Fields are checked for minimal as well as maximum length, list values, error messages, etc. There are many static analysis tools created for various programming languages. A few popular tools for checking code in these languages are listed below. When we come to the C language or C++ language, the different static analysis tools available are as follows. The first tool is CPP check tool or CPP check. CPP check is a very popular free open software available in the internet. Originally had the goal to report no false positive at all, but nowadays the goal is very few false positives. The parser is generic and was designed to be able to analyze the C as well as C++ code found in embedded projects that use various language extensions. However, the parser does not support all constructs described by the new CPP language standards. The data flow analysis is preliminarily flow sensitive and bidirectional. The second tool available is Clang Static Analyzer. The static code analyzer for C, CPP, Objective C languages built into the Clang compiler. However, many other compilers also have decent built-in code analyzers. For example, Visual Studio supports static analysis of Visual CPP or Visual C++ projects like compiler flags, analyzers, etc. The third one is Framas C. It is an open source C program analyzer. The fourth one is Lint. Mentioned here, as it is a historical value, this tool can be called the first static code analyzer for C language. The name of many modern analyzers are derived from the word Lint, that is CPP Lint, PC Lint, Splint, JS Lint, ARM Lint, Pumpet Lint. PyLint, etc. So these are some of the open source static analysis tools available for the language of C as well as C++. When we come to the C Sharp, the different analysis tools available are the first one is ReSharper. It is not a static analyzer in the classic sense as it provides few usage scenarios. Plugin for Visual Studios, perform static analysis of the C Sharp code and others. The second one is FXCorp, free static code analysis tool from the Microsoft. It performs byte code analysis for 
compliance with the Microsoft application design guidelines. At the moment, this project is currently stopped. The third one is Roslyn Analyzers. It is a set of static code analyzers for C Sharp and Visual Basic based on .NET compiler platforms. It performs source code analysis unlike FXCOPE. As part of this project, a port of the most important FXCOPE rules was also produced. The fourth one is Security Code Scan. It is a static code analyzer based on .NET compiler platform Roslyn for C Sharp and Visual Basic language for detecting error patterns related to application security, SQL injection, cross-site scriptings, cross-site request forgery, XML external entity injections and others. So these are the common static analysis tools available in the programming language C Sharp. For the programming language Java, the most popular static analysis tools are first one is find bugs. It is the most famous free static Java code analyzer which analyzes the bytecode of the program. The second one is spot bugs. It became the successor of FindBugs and also it is an open source code project. The third one is Intel Lidge Idea. It is a development environment from JetBrains comprising a set of code inspecting for finding, highlighting and fixing anomalies in the Java programming code. The fourth one is Sonar Java. It is a static code analyzer developed by the sonar source for the Java language for searching for code smells, errors and vulnerabilities. When we come to the common other languages, the different static analyzers available are check marks CX suits. It is a static analyzer meant to search for the backdoor and vulnerabilities which allow to detect and eliminate security issues on the source code levels. It supports a wide range of programming languages like Java, C Sharp, Visual Basic, C, C++, Ruby, JavaScript, Perl and other programming languages. Another one is Deep Code. The authors of this Swiss startup claim that Deep Code is able to detect vulnerabilities such as cross-site scripting and SQL injection capabilities since the algorithm in it do not just analyze the code as a set of characters but try to understand the meaning and purpose of the written program. The third one is SAP Fix. It is created by the engineers from the Facebook to reduce the time spent by engineers on debugging as well as to accelerate the process of deploying new softwares. The next type of software static code analyzer tool is Code Guru. Code Guru is authorized by Amazon engineers. They consider the strength of their analyzer to be assistance in finding way to optimize the performance of their code. Another type of static analyzer tool is Infer. It is a static analyzer for the languages of C, C Sharp, Objective C and Java which is developed by the Facebook. So dear students, in this lecture we had discussed different static analysis tools available for static testing. Hope you had understood this topic. So dear students, kindly go through these assignment questions. The first question is write about various activities for performing static testing. And second one is write about the popular static analysis tools. So students, in the upcoming lecture we will discuss some other topics in white box testing. So see you soon. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.